back to our channel. My name is Anthony with Press On Mobile Coffee. And I'm Rachel. And as some of you may know, we're actually building a second coffee trailer. And I just got a shipment in the mail today of how we're going to streamline the electrical process. Pretty excited about this little guy. It's cute. Yeah, really cool. Um, for those of you that want to use a generator, this will be a great option for you. And even for those that want to go the off-grid option, you can use this as a, a backup plan too. Before we get into this guy, how did you hook up the previous electrical? You did it all yourself, didn't you? Yeah, so if you watched our previous video, um, I did all the electrical myself. I uh, used some of the existing wire in our um, trailer, added a 100 amp panel, ran all the breakers and wiring myself. Um, wasn't bad, it just it was time consuming. Overall, definitely saved a lot of money versus hiring an electrician, um, but time-wise, um, this is going to save a lot of time. So I ordered this from a company called Cafe Works. This is how it's spelled, C-A-F-F-E-W-E-R-K-S, cafeworks.com. They specialize in uh, simplifying electrical and plumbing for mobile coffee carts and just mobile coffee applications in general, so definitely check them out. Um, they are based out of Olympia, Washington. So I'm really excited about this little panel here, as you, you can see. Did you get to choose the color? No, it said colors, <laughs> colors vary, so uh, I actually think it's kind of cool it came in this color, but this is essentially the size of what my 100 amp panel was in our first coffee trailer. Uh, but it just had the breakers and then, of course, the wiring that goes to your outlet on the exterior of your trailer. But what's cool about this, um, they give you an option when you order this to have this 30 amp plug or not. Um, you can go a little bit smaller if you don't need the 30 amp, like if you have a smaller espresso machine. But they do give you that option. This is for your espresso machine. Yep, so this is the outlet for your espresso machine. This one connects to your outlet on the exterior of your trailer. This is your breaker panels, gives you four GFCI outlets. 20 amps each one has a 50 um, amp main that you can shut off and then there's a 30 amp designated for this um, uh, for your espresso machine. Why is this better than your previous outfit? So what's really cool about this is I can put in my outlet on the exterior of my trailer, wire this to that outlet and I'm ready to go. If you want to use a generator, plug directly into the outlet, all your power is right here ready to go. Um, when I ran the electrical in my first coffee trailer, Everything was great. I mean, I had outlets throughout, which was fine. I did have my appliances kind of spread out, which was okay too. This coffee trailer though, I have basically everything in a central location within reach for this outlet. So I don't need to have outlets throughout the whole coffee trailer. So I'm not gonna have any other outlets throughout the uh, trailer other than this. And again, I'm only gonna use this if I were to use a generator. Um, but I'm still going to run this coffee trailer off grid like we did our first one using the dual case inverter system. Um, but this is nice to have this as a backup. Really, really cool. Lightweight. It's only nine pounds. Um, and you can pretty much mount it anywhere in the trailer, but I'm going to have it pretty much mounted underneath my uh, countertop that has the espresso machine. And so basically this is what it comes down to. Um, we got espresso machine, outlet for your water pump outlet for your coffee grinder, outlet for your fridge, outlet for blender, and outlet for um, your actual coffee pot, if you're gonna use like a actual coffee maker for drip, and then another outlet for hot water heater, and you still have two extra available outlets for lights or POS or whatever. So you had six outlets in the previous um, trailer and we didn't even use most of them. Yeah, I had one, two, three existing outlets that were in the trailer when I first got it. One, two, three. Yeah, three. And then I added one, two, three, four more. And I I only had like one thing plugged into all those at one time. And so, yeah, it was my floor plan on my first trailer was probably a little bit bigger than I really needed. Um, or maybe just, it would have been better to have everything in a central location, the fridge closer to the espresso machine, just eliminate any walking at all, because that stuff kept um, really adds up for you know your drink time when you're uh, processing orders. So when it comes down to it, you bought this for simplicity? Yes, so this definitely simplifies 
the electrical of your coffee operation, or if you're going to do food, you know, not necessarily coffee. I mean, this is capable of running just about any appliance. Do they make them in a bigger size? Can you get more? Nope, this is it. The only difference between this one and the other one they have is without the 30 amp uh, outlet for a bigger appliance. I mean, so you could run a, I don't know, a oven or fryer for this outlet right here. Um, anything that's within 30 amps. This unit from Cafe Works was $425. How much was your previous setup in your other trailer? Um, so all the electrical in my first trailer, I think it was under $250, definitely wasn't over that. Um, that's just for the materials. Um, and then it took me probably two eight hour days to run all the electrical because I was doing it for the first time. You could definitely do it faster now, but this really simplifies um, the electrical in general. I mean, you only thing you're connecting at this point, so you're gonna go ahead and get your RV outlet plug for like a generator for the exterior of your trailer. You're gonna install that in the exterior of your trailer and wire it directly to this guy and then you're ready to go. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. It seems really durable. Um, I ordered this two day, two nights ago and it just came to my door this morning. I mean, given- and they're like three hours away, so. It's like a six hour drive, yeah, still, but free shipping too, which was pretty sweet. Um, 425 bucks delivered to my door. The one without the 30 amp cord is 395, so. But anybody that's running coffee, you're gonna want this option for sure. So I plan on doing a follow-up video uh, once I connect this to the outlet on the exterior of the trailer, and then we can show you how it all operates. All right, cool. All right, guys, that's it from us today. So if you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Take care.